Okay, uh, right. Good afternoon, ladies, and welcome to Artichoke's virtual shopping evening. Now, lockdown is not over for quite a few of us, actually. There are an awful lot of us who are still in the vulnerable category, and there are also an awful lot of us who actually are feeling quite unsure about life and possibly don't want to go running back into the shops but could do with some retail therapy. So at Artichoke we're going to approach this in two ways. So once we um, open on June the 15th, if we open on the, June the 15th, on uh, Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays and Mondays, the doors which are over there will be open and people will be welcome to come in um, at, at their will providing they're no more than four of you in the shop at the same time. But for those of you who really don't want to walk through those doors into a shop full of people, we've got two other options. So we're going to be closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, and on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, by appointment, you can either come into the shop and have a closed shopping session, so you will be the only person in the shop, or you can shop with me virtually. So this evening, uh, was supposed to be a very clever video where you could see Linda talking to me and I was running around but the shop is still a tip. It's much better than it was this morning but it just meant that we couldn't get this video done in advance so we're going live. So Linda is here being camera woman so if you want to wave to Linda um, she's also going to pretend that she's sitting at home and she's ringing me up and um, we're going to do a bit of shopping. So that's what we're going to get up to um, today, ladies. Uh, before we start, uh, can I just ask you that if you see anything that you like, garment or something like that, press that um, heart button um, because that helps us in Google Land. And the other thing is if you have got any questions about virtual shopping, please ask us. If Linda sees them going through the phone line um, as, as we're doing the video, she'll shout them um, over to me and I can answer them. But if she doesn't see your question, if she misses it, as always, I promise that once this session is over, I'll go through it and I will come back to you and answer any questions that you might have. So before we pretend that Linda's going to ring us up, just let me go through my checklist to make sure that I have said everything that I was going to. Oh, the only other thing I forgot was that actually virtual shopping is not just for um, vulnerable people. It's for all our customers. So um, even if you're able to come into the shop, what you can do is you can book an appointment with us, say on your Tuesday lunch hour, you can sit down and have a cup of coffee and then I can take you through what we've got and then you can make up your mind whether you actually want to come in on Saturday and shop with us. And of course, if you live too far away to be able to come to Swatham on a regular basis, virtual shopping is a great opportunity for you to keep updated as to what we've got in the shop at a particular time. So it's not just for those in the vulnerable category, it is for anyone who just wants to shop with us virtually. So, I'm going to ring Linda now. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, Hello. Linda. Hello, Sarah. So, Linda's just rung me or I've just rung her, but we've done something and we're doing this on FaceTime or on a platform of your choice. If you're not sure about how to use FaceTime, don't panic if you've got an iPhone. Um, all I do is I ring you on FaceTime and you answer and magically it all happens, I hope. I've got to share that with my son. Is that right, Linda? I think uh, it is. Yes, absolutely. And WhatsApp um, as well. If you yeah. have an Android phone, yes. WhatsApp is, a, is the equivalent of FaceTime. And does the video work on WhatsApp? Yes. Absolutely, oh, okay. yes. I haven't really done many videos. No, it's calls. exactly the same. You can also use Messenger video as well if people don't have WhatsApp. There you are. You can tell who's the techno person here. So you can do it with Zoom, with 
your iPhone, with FaceTime, with WhatsApp, with Messenger. Now, as you're all watching this on uh, your Facebook, uh, we know you have Messenger. So, we can get in contact with you. So, Linda rang me last week. She made an appointment with me for now, and she said she wanted to... Um, try looking at a different um, style of jeans to the ones that she usually wears. So why was that Linda? Why do you think you want to move away from Angelica jeans? I love my Angelica jeans but I've actually well, a couple of years ago, actually lost um, a, a couple of stones in weight, and I find find now that the Angelica shape doesn't suit me quite so well because I've lost quite a lot of weight weight off my um, off my middle. Okay. Um, and even though I still wear my Angelica jeans and love them, I have to wear them with a belt because right. they're really quite big for me now around okay. the waist. Okay, so um, what I've done is I've actually pulled a pair of. Uh, Body Perfect jeans. So, um, would you mind, we're going to get uh, up close and personal now, would you mind just lifting your top so that I can see your body shape a bit higher? Okay, yeah, so you've got a definite waist underneath that jumper. So I think that these Body Perfects are going to be really good for you. Um, if I just show you my body shape, you can see that my waist is just under my rib cage. It's, it's really, really high. So down where everybody else's waist is, I'm straight. So I'm expecting the Body Perfect jeans to go in, you know, for my tummy to go over them. Um, but I think that just because I've got rolls doesn't mean that you're going to have them. So what I'm going to do, ladies, is I'm just going to hop quickly out of the camera because you really don't need to see my lovely knickers. Um, whilst I'm doing that, it would be great for you to have a little chat with Linda, have a chat amongst yourselves. And if you've got any questions about personal shopping, ladies, now is the time to um, ask them. And here we do a quick change. <laughs> We're getting lo lots of reaction to you going off and not showing your knickers. <gasps> and I've, we've got a lovely really lady. You'll have to forgive me, ladies, if I'm peering at the phone and not pronouncing your, your names correctly. But Barbara, is it Odling or Odling? She's Odling. definitely... Oh, Oh, Odling. 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 She's definitely loving your loving your shirt, which I have to say I, I do think is lovely. I, I'm never very convinced about myself in that, that kind of pattern, but you look fab in it, Sarah. Well, <laughs> you should have all bought it last... Uh, is last it last year? year in the winter. Oh. Now, look, <laughs> this is going to show you that I think these are perfect for you. Can you see? I yes. can't even yeah. get them done up. Yes. But can you see? But they're, they're a little, yes, yes, because the thing I forgot to say was, that, all... yeah, I've got cycling thighs because I've cycled ever since I was I was a young girl. And so I haven't got uh, Sarah's lovely, long, slim legs. I've got more of a sort of footballer leg going on. So, yeah. So can you see I'm pulling them yes, out here? Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, yes, they, I think definitely yeah. I'd like to try those, Sarah. And they're nice and narrow in the leg. In fact, Barbara Odling, hello, Barbara. She actually um, ordered a pair of Body Perfects and Angelica's. So it would be interesting, Barbara, to see which ones you actually prefer. Um, yeah, so I think, Linda, these would be perfect for you. Yes, lovely. Yeah? Yes, definitely. Now, we also have them as a 7 8 in oh. this colour. You see, I do love, I absolutely love um, the seven, seven eights and they're a lovely summery colour, but actually I desperately need a new pair that I can wear for work. And because I have to pop in and out of the warehouse, it wouldn't be a practical colour. Um, I don't suppose you do the navy in the seven eights, do you? Do you do, you do uh, any other colours in the actually, seven eights? This, um, this pair that I'm wearing, Linda, they're the uh, short fit ones. Uh, okay. So lovely right for you as well. smashing about yeah 29 30 inches long the, the, so you could roll uh, yeah them perfect yes no that'll be perfect actually which is what I, I i probably prefer to do that and then that gives me more flexibility so you're going to tell the ladies what you do 
Oh yes, I I I um well I do a um a, vari a variety of things, but but uh, quite I work for um, a kitchen company called New Rooms based just outside Methwold, um and I look after their their various bits to do with administration and customer service, but also taking deliveries. So I'm in and out of the warehouse. So I really need clothes that look nice enough that if I see customers, I don't look a complete fright, but at the same time are easy to move in and obviously uh, don't get dirty or don't show the dirt, um, shall I say, too easily. So we've sorted out your cheese. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like yeah, to Yeah, so the other, the other thing I'd like to see, Sarah, actually I have seen on, on some of the uh, videos on, on Facebook mm -hmm. some lovely, pl um, lovely plain but with nice bit of detail cotton sleeveless tops. Oh, okay. um, and one thing uh, that's happened recently, I think I might have put on a few um, furlough, um, for, uh, lockdown pounds and my chest appears to have grown. <laughs> I think everybody's has. I think Donna and Donna, Donna, who's watching here, Donna and I were having this conversation at a, exactly at a socially at a social distance. Obviously, as I was dropping off weeds for the tortoises, and she said exactly the same thing. Because whenever I put on a few pounds, the first place it goes on is my chest. So all the cotton tops that I have at the moment do not look terribly. I can just about get them on, but they don't look terribly flattering. So and also I would like to see something that would be nice for when we are able to enter society again um something that i could wear in the evening that's um that's a bit more um floaty or or yeah just a bit more sort of going out type okay top. so do you want to grab the camera absolutely and now whistle around the shop okay so you ladies you just need to excuse the mess this is going to be perfect by sunday now I'm going to show you this and I already know what your reaction is. <laughs> well, Sarah has known me for a very long time. In fact, actually, gosh, this it'll be 24 years at, at the end of this year, won't it? Which is amazing. I absolutely love the colours, but I'm not sure that I would wear wear it because of the, 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 the print. And you see, this, ladies, is where your personality comes into play. Now this, you can't see Linda's colouring, but this is perfect colouring for her. But she, like me, is very self-conscious about wearing patterns and large print, she says in her leopard thing. I don't know why I like this, but um, I think probably because it's smaller. Um, and when we are dressing people in the shop <clears throat> that's the reason why we chat to you and over time we develop a relationship with our customers so that we instantly know what not to bother showing them because we just know that however much we think they might like that they however much we would like them in it and however much however great they would look in it they just won't wear it. So Linda... <laughs> having, having said that, though, I, I must say, Sarah, that actually over the years, you have encouraged me out of my comfort zone on more than one occasion. And I have really appreciated that because sometimes you do need somebody to suggest different things. Oh, nice. And for instance, the lovely Donna, who made made me, well, not made me, but obviously encouraged me to try. Well, she did make me. Oh, yeah, I think I did. <laughs> I do mean made me try on the K design dress that I would never in a million years have taken off the hanger and I couldn't have been more pleased yeah. with it and have worn it absolutely loads. So sometimes all of us, I think, ladies need to be encouraged to try something new. That probably still doesn't mean I'm going to try that top. <laughs> I do I do quite like that one that you've got your hand on at the I moment, though. One. Yes. Right, so should we bang that on the rail then? Yes, I think even though... I'm not sure whether I would wear that if it wasn't a sort of holiday type situation. I think it's so pretty. Right, well, we'll go along with that. Yeah. So I'm just going to skim along this rail. Yeah, that royal blue. Um, ah, now that is the royal blue version of the fantastic stripy ones that I have, isn't okay. it, I think? Yes, 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 and that's a lovely colour, yes, Sarah. Same one size. So yes. We'll that on the rail, yeah, shall definitely. We? So, skimming through here. 
Yeah. Um, I can't see you in that. No. Um, no. Right, for ladies, forgive me if I'm a bit wobbly doing this. Yes, I I do like a stripe. I'm not sure whether that might be a bit pale on me Should though. So, so yes, I think so. Pink. Yeah, I think I know. I'm I'm okay. I'm always a bit more safe on stripes. <gasps> Look at those. Oh, we'll put those on. There. <laughs> I know so. that's not a top, Sarah, but they are fabulous. Let's hope Dave's not looking. Yes, I hope he won't be watching. No, I'm just gonna pop My poor husband, right long suffering husband. <laughs> Start this end. Now I know you don't do white. Um, I think actually, I think this would look lovely on you, but I think probably for some you'd want a shorter sleeve. Yes, I, I I'm not, and also sure for like for me it's a bit. I think that's possibly a bit formal. I I can't really see for my life at the moment, but um. Right, so this one's not actually. Now it's plastic, yeah. And that's a viscose um, square short. Oh, yes, that's very pretty. Yes, yeah, definitely. I'm going to pull this for you as well. Oh, Sarah, yes, I definitely like that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's lovely. 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 Yeah, I'm also going to oh, and that shirt. shirt, yes, yes, definitely. This is what you've actually asked for. Yeah. Oh, yes. Is that, a Pomodoro, is that a Pomodoro? Yes, I, I really like that. Right, yeah. now, and also... <gasps> yes, yeah. yeah. So we're just going to pop these on here. Um, we're going to whistle through here. Uh, I'm going to pull that for you. Can you see that we're doing a lot of navy here, ladies? I hope you can all see, ladies. I'm, I'm probably not... Forgive me if I'm not showing. Let me just pan that round so you can see everything on the on the on the rails. Because obviously, because Donna's on, I'm sure she'll answer questions as they come up, probably. Oh, Hi, um, rather than um, me picking them up, because she'll be much better at it than I will. Oh, now that you see, that's interesting because that is a large print. But actually, I have to say, if I was looking for something to go out. In, in the evening, I think if that suits me, I I, I think I think it, that's fab, oh, absolutely fab. Black. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Now that I wasn't really looking for a dress, but that's fabulous. So I'm going to whistle through here. You don't do animal prints. No, I'm just You're sorry. Boring. I'm just going to whiz through so that everyone can orange. see what's on the rail. What about that for work? Oh yes, that's pretty. Yeah. Yes. Yes, definitely. Okay, I know I am a creature of habit with my one colour, but you're not going to do a floaty skirt, are you? Um, probably not. If if I was looking for a holiday, maybe. Oh yes, that's nice, isn't it? I, ha, however, I have my Pomodoro skirt from last year, which I wear to death, um, but washes and um, stays pristine beautifully. So what are you going to do, kilts, Linda? Well. <laughs> Last time, Sarah has always tried to get me into culottes and I have to say that she looks absolutely fabulous and glamorous and I tried them on and my husband snorted with laughter and said I look like a gnome. Oh, I'll lose the husband. <laughs> Hit the culottes, darling, that's my motto. Right, so we're going to whistle back. Right. Let and we're me... going to go through here. You're going to get back in your little station and then we're going to talk through... And we're just going to do a yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, because what we haven't discussed is budget. Right. Um, yes, to be honest, I don't really know what, what the prices are on there. For the cotton tops, obviously, I would expect so they're as reasonable as, as anything else. Yeah. Yes, so that's, that's, so that's fine. And then, obviously, for a going out top, then I would be happy to... to to look at, at more so we've got this is 25 quid we've got it in navy we've got it in black and we've got it in the air crew yeah so nay i'll probably try the navy and black for work okay. that would be fantastic right, i'm not sure whether yeah. that is, but i'll pop that to one side lovely with this one you're gonna have to go up a side so you're gonna need yeah. at least a 16. yeah okay um yes and i do like things to be i don't like things to be too tight yeah. i well, they just show the old bumps and bumps they do there. indeed so what are you thinking about that one I know I picked well, it for you.
to be honest, I think if I, I, I actually would, no, I'm not, no, I do like it. I think it's very pretty, but I think for work, it could be a bit annoying. Yeah. I think, I think I would find it too. And for going out, I'm looking for something a bit more, glam. Print, yeah, okay. a bit more glam. Right, so, uh, the sweatshirt is a yes. I, no? Yes, the absolutely, because I love them glam. so much. Now, Obviously, ladies, I do actually know Linda quite well, but I'm trying to show you that we will pull lots of items for you and you mustn't be afraid about saying, oh my God, no, I would rather be have my arms gnawed off without an anaesthetic than wear that. And then we put it on the rejects pile. So then over time, it helps us to find out what your style is, what your personality is, and we're able to uh, put better wardrobes together for you. So are we putting this on the possibility? Oh, definitely, yeah? yes. And this is on the possibility as well, Yes. they're both holiday ones. A absolutely, even though, uh, to be fair, the, the one with black in, I, I would wear to go out I, so it, anywhere. If, if that suits me, I, I love that. Okay. What about the black dress? Oh, yeah, I have got to try that, even if I only wear it in the garden at the moment, because <laughs> because you know, because I don't think any of us are going much further than our gardens, yeah. are we, at the and moment? So, yeah, definitely. Gorgeous. You go down yeah. the size this. So, actually, although, although we're normally XL in um, MXO, um, we were larger than that. What about that one? I do, I do really like that. I think it's such a pretty top, and I remember seeing it on you and liking it very much in the video. But again, I'm not sure that it's quite what I'm looking for for dressy. Um, yeah, no, actually, I would like to try it's that. It's actually, it, yes, yes, a, a little for what I'm looking for, even though I love it. Right, so let's put yeah. That on the reject pile. This is the navy uh, three quarter sleeve bow neck t shirt. Yeah, I just think that's so classic. Actually, I, I definitely want to try that. I think. So that's twenty six pounds. So what we're uh, doing yes, is, which is... with Linda is we're keeping her work clothes because she works in a warehouse. Um, we're keeping her work uh, tops at our entry level price range. So this top is forty four. It's a gorgeous top, but it's going to get trashed. Yes, yes. So she's better off with a sweatshirt. But obviously going out is different. Now, we pulled those. What do you think about the fish trousers? Oh, well, I think they're just fabulous, even though I think my husband might be very rude about them. But <laughs> no, that's fabulous. Definitely got to try those, even though I wouldn't wear them for work. But, <laughs> but yeah. Um, and yes. Absolutely, the elephant one is is is, is fab, so and £62. yeah. And actually, if I was being practical, I suppose I, I you, because it, actually you can you could wear that anywhere, couldn't you? You could wear it to go out. You so could actually wear one. it to go to a barbecue. Yeah. yeah, I think okay. so. You've got the dress. Yeah. What about the Chanel one? Yes, because it's just lovely. I have to see what so that looks like on me. Wear this, I would I would wear that to get to to go to a to a party a summer party because yeah. you could wear it even though i don't actually own a pair of white jeans at the moment which i probably yeah, ought to remedy i think it would look fabulous so with white jeans here as well this is the plain um this coast top yeah 32 and, pounds and and actually again even though that i think that's lovely because you can dress it up or down and actually again it wouldn't look out of place at a summer party just w with the right accessories yeah. but you could also wear it to go to the pub if, if when we're allowed to go to the pub again yeah, of course that on the... yes i think okay. that yeah i think that's a, a, a very reasonable going out option I do love that, but I have a feeling that might not suit me, but um, it did. Where are you going to wear it? Yeah, I was thinking that because actually it's a bit more of a, a smart, not really a going out top, is it? It's more of a... I think you well, might in a proper office. Yes, it would look fabulous. I think, I think so, again, it's... it's... I, I think that's that's something that I absolutely love, but is not very practical for my yes. current life, I think is the honest answer. Yeah, and... Yeah, and I absolutely love that. Um, even though I have got rather a lot of artichoke shirts already. If, if, I, if I went home with that, I definitely have to be one of those ones that I hide from my lovely husband. So no, of course I haven't pounds. bought another shirt. And so I, yeah, and I think so at the moment. Okay. 
Right, so we've weeded out lots of lovely gorgeousness, but it's not going to be completely practical. Obviously, your work wardrobe is a no-brainer. You've got your jeans as well. Yeah. So now we're moving on to these. Now, if we add all these up, my darling, you spend quite a lot of money. <laughs> Uh, 260, uh, 240. We're up to 300 quid, Linda. Yeah, and so of course, in in reality, I, I that so that's above that's above my 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 budget. So I I think I suppose what what um what I would no in in if this was obviously you know that this isn't a a, a real session as such. But if it was, um, I would probably at this stage ask Sarah to try all of the tops on for me because actually we do have qu quite similar just go with um, the one yeah i was going to say if you do that and then actually because i would make a choice between that and the chanel one I to do both because i didn't put my bright red lippy on and i have got my vest on yeah. so that i don't frighten you too much but of course what happens on it's got our size <laughs> <laughs> right hang fire let me let me find our size so i can now I did. And is the elephant one black or navy, Sarah? I can't see from where I am. It is a very dark navy. Right. And I can't see right at this spectacle, but they're down here. Um, now, obviously, this isn't as slick, ladies, as um, a video where we know exactly what we're doing, but hopefully it's showing you how a virtual shopping session would go. So this is me in the 18. Right. Now, when I first put it on, I thought that it was a great fit because we sold for 16, but actually... Yeah. It, I think it's, it's going to be too big for your mum. Yes, I think so. So I'm just going to nip yeah. over and see if I can find where the rest of the elephant shirts are. Um, now this is the 16 in the elephant shirt. Oh, I should have really taken these earrings out. Top tip for me. <laughs> have you caught on your earring? Top tip uh, and for Donna. Me. <laughs> oh my God. Right, top tip for me is when I'm doing virtual shopping for people. <laughs> take, take your earrings take off. Take my dangly earrings out. <laughs> Right, because I've got them caught. Right, so I'm just going to whistle the off. Um, although I put my makeup on this morning, it was a very long time ago, so it's all rubbed off and won't be rubbing on my lovely Chanel top. Um, if I had a full makeup on, maybe I would be wearing my scarves. Let me just show you what this one looks like. I do also, ladies, spend my life looking at what Sarah is wearing. And obviously because, because she looks so um, glamorous and fabulous, 90, 90% 90 of the do time. Well. <laughs> I do, I do, I do see her at home as well. Um, and I think that sometimes I think I, these things would look fabulous on me, but I'm not as glamorous as she is. Right, I can't see this coming. <laughs> Um, just very slightly at the at the front, yes. So do you think we're being uh, I yes, I think I think so. Is that going to work? Or is it going to be yeah. <clears throat> and actually, and actually, I think that's sometimes a problem with with for us for ladies with our sort of shape. That is a problem with the more stru structured tops. Ex do excuse me, my hay fever's getting to me. Um, with the structured tops that don't have any stretch in them, because quite often then to go up a size means that they're too big around around the arms. So we, I may find that um, sadly that's not going to work for me. Right, so I'm just going to bow on the next size up. Donna's asking me if I like faded jeans. Um, I do like faded um, jeans, Donna, but I would probably um, not wear them for work. 
I can't see if that's coming. Um, it, it just again, just slightly at the front. So there you are. We've got our answer. Yes. However much we might love this yes. talk, it's yes. not going to work for us. No. So I think what you're going to have to do, my darling, is go back to your basic yes. Pomodoro. Yes. Yes. Which actually I do love, um, and I think with the right accessories that actually would look fabulous in, in the evening. You have your lovely yes. Trousers. And so actually that works perfectly. And your white dress. Yes. Yeah. Fa fantastic. And so, ladies, it just shows you that. Um, could, oh, yes. Could you just. Um, Aileen McMullen is yeah. asking that she missed the dress. Can Sarah show it again? Can you just yeah, hold course. the dress? Aileen, if you actually look at the uh, video we did last Thursday, I was wearing it. Black is the only colour that it comes in. But it is super, super flattering. If you want, I can just pop this on. And Maury Martin is asking what uh, jeans you're wearing, Sarah, as well. So I am wearing... Um, uh, they are an Angelica, but they're called Magic Denim, I think. Um, these are very, very old. I've got them on today because I have been um, unpacking boxes. Uh, and uh, we've stopped buying them because they have gone from being slightly skinny to super skinny. Um, and uh, the, the uh, Angelica Magic Stretch that we have now uh, is a completely different shape. It's uh, like a boyfriend cut. Um, so I'm afraid that um, you can't get these anymore. Huh. And Donna just made um, a very good point actually and said that obviously the, the tops that I've chosen for, for my work would actually uh, double up if I want to wear them with faded jeans to give me um, another look um, out of work, which is very true. I, I do have the sweatshirts in stri stripey um, yeah. in the coral and in the... Um, I can't remember green. what the other colour is. Green, green, I think. Yeah. Yes, green, which I love and I live in. So that that's that's very good point, Donna. Actually. Okay, ladies. So we've whistled through this. Hopefully, it will give you an understanding of how you can shop virtually with us. Um, obviously, Linda won't be here, but I will wander around with my phone. And as you can see, we can't see. It's on a little tripod, so we can put it down. We can try things on. When Donna finally comes back to work, if she ever comes back to work, she'll be doing it with you as well. Um, as you can see, we're really happy to try things on uh, and work through your initial selection to get it down to something that actually you're going to be able to wear and um, is within budget. Our first appointment for virtual shopping takes place next when, uh, Tuesday which I think is about the 8th of June, or is it the 9th? I think it's the 9th. So the 9th of June, because the shop's not actually open, you can't have a closed shopping session with us, but you can book a virtual shopping session with us. So we're taking appointments now for next Tuesday and Wednesday, and then every Tuesday and Wednesday afterwards. To make your appointment, you need to call us on 01760724948 or drop us an email um, and we'll just confirm that the slot's available. Obviously when life gets back a bit more to normal, a lot of you are not actually going to be able to do this on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So we will offer this service any day of the week, but it has to be when the shop's closed. So that's either before 10 o'clock or after 4.30 we're very very happy to take appointments on other days so I hope this has been uh, has been of some use to you on Sunday um, what we're going to do is because hopefully the shop will be perfect by then is I am going to take you on a little guided tour of our entire shop from the mannequins at the front of the shop through to the accessories and showing you where everything is is in the shop and I'm going to pick out the pieces that I want this season and explain to you why they're coming home with me. That's Sunday. Next Thursday we're hoping to have a watch party with Annabelle and Grace 
who will be answering my artichoke 30 questions. Annabelle and Grace uh, have an online magazine. There are a couple of lovely ladies that we've met actually um, on Facebook. So you can follow them on Facebook. They're Annabelle and Grace brackets country wives. They're also on Instagram. Um, Annabelle at the moment is having a coffee morning uh, every Friday morning at 10 o'clock on Instagram. I've listened in a couple of times. Um, they have book clubs, they talk about recipes. They just um, have got lots and lots of great ideas. So during lockdown, um, I think they would be a great couple to follow. Um, and you can sign up and get their weekly magazine just sent directly to your email. So we're doing Artichoke 30 questions with them next Thursday. And then the following Sunday, which is just before we open our doors, fingers crossed, I think what we'll start doing is holiday wardrobes. So I think we're going to have, for our first example, a holiday on the Norfolk Broad. So that's going to be exciting. <laughs> I think that sounds apart. pretty exciting it's to me, yeah. excuse me. Now, my dad used to have a broads boat and it was lovely. It's just that your wardrobe is not going to be that extensive. <laughs> so it might be a very short video. What we'll have to do is we'll have to have a holiday on the Norfolk Broads and you're going to go to Southwold shopping for one day and then you're going to come into the city in Norwich and go sightseeing for one day. So that's going to be our first holiday video. Lots to look forward to, ladies. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please tell all your friends about our virtual shopping because although you might be happy to nip into the shop, you may have somebody who's not quite there yet, uh, but still, you know, wants some retail therapy. So just spread the news far and wide. Thank you as always for supporting us, uh, both by watching our videos, uh, by liking, sharing our posts, but also, by buying from us. You're still buying and I am still so, so grateful because ladies, it is because of you that this business is going to survive. So thank you very much indeed. Have a great evening. See you on Sunday.